Uh-oh. Yeah, it is time to deck the halls because Northeast Ohioans will be raising a glass to an annual holiday tradition here at home. Yes, today is Great Lakes Brewing Company's first pour of their famous Christmas ale. John Rutter, you hear the music. The lights are flashing. You got the tough assignment today. You're at the <laughs> brew pub with more details on how you can get in on the festivities. And yes, we're in the Christmas spirit, loving your Christmas tie, my friend. Yeah, I got some Christmas socks on as oh, well. Oh, so we're oh. decked to the nines. Got the, got the Ralphie socks. So hey, you gotta go from head to toe whenever <laughs> they're about to pour the Christmas ale. You know, for 29 years, Christmas ale has been uh, the drink of choice around the holiday season. Uh, and we're getting ready for the first pour here. Adam Ritter Spa joining us uh, this morning. Right. All right, we were talking earlier at five o'clock, the original recipe that you have on tap for us this year, uh, as every year. Uh, yes. Talk to us about the event that you guys got. Today. Yeah, it's the first pour event. It's the unofficial kick kickoff season. <laughs> the uh, holiday season here in Cleveland. We're really excited. Doors open at 11 a.m. and of course the first pour will happen at 11.30. Any shortages or issues with ingredients or packaging this year because of the pandemic? Supply chain is definitely on the naughty list this year, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely been a headache like for us, for everybody. Uh, but thankfully, we were able to get the cinnamon, the honey, and the ginger. There's going to be plenty of Christmas sale this year. Any COVID precautions that folks should be aware of when they're coming down here to, to take part in the festivities today? Yeah, so last year was a smaller event. We asked for reservations only. This year, you don't need a reservation, but we are asking you to bring your vaccination card or a proof of a negative test within 72 hours. All right, for anybody that likes to take a one holiday at a time, because everybody kind of gets uppity whenever you start talking about Christmas before Halloween or Thanksgiving, sure. uh, you do have some opportunities for folks to celebrate the Halloween season with some haunted brew house tours. Yeah. Tell us about that. This is the first time we've ever done haunted brew house tours. They're going to take place right here in the brew pub. Now, all of the sessions have sold out, but last night we did add some sessions at 6.30 on Wednesday. You can find information about that on our website. Awesome. I appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. The hey. Christmas Ale is on tap today. We'll be available in the gift shop starting tomorrow yep. and for production uh, like out in your grocery stores on Monday. So I nailed it. Awesome. Definitely going to want to get that, uh, Trent. You mentioned that there is one missing here. I wanted to make note for the record, I didn't take this one, so I don't know where the third one went. I know uh, where it but, went. Uh, yeah, yeah, we know the, where it the is. Grinch is sneaking <laughs> around. I think it was the There's ghost. There's a Grinch sneaking around. <laughs> the ghost on that we put haunted it in tour. The, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 oh, Trent's upset about that. He wants that can <laughs> so badly. Thank you, John. 